I. Uh, now it's time to. Now it's time to talk about work, and work is the product of force and distance. Work's given by a capital W, and like I said, you apply a force over a certain distance, and the units, the units are those of work. So in English units, you'd have distance, feet, times pounds, so that'll give you up foot pounds in metric units you've got units of force which is newtons times units of distance which would be meters that'd be newton meters and a newton meter is also known as a joule after james joule so Generally, when you're doing work, you're putting energy into or taking energy out of a, out of an object. Uh, joules and foot pounds are units of energy. Now, if I raise a weight, a weight's a force, and if I raise it a certain height through gravity, I'm doing work. I'm giving more energy. You've seen the seagulls. A lot of times, they'll crack cra uh, clams by picking them up and raising them up to a great height, adding energy potential energy is what it's called, but they'll add energy to the clam by raising it to a, whoop, to a certain height and then dropping it. And the clam gains speed, right? Because it trades that energy off for something we'll get into later called kinetic energy. But you put work into the clam, you take it back out. You get a cracked clam. Now, by climbing up to this height, there are different ways to do it. The most efficient way in some respects is to use the smallest amount of distance. And so you just climb straight up. But if I wanted to, I could have gone a longer distance. I could have used the stairs. Uh, or or else I, I could have used the ramp. But and we often do that. And the reason is that even though it might be more work. <coughs> the distance might go up, but the force goes down. And you, you, well, you've seen that on, on mountains, where you go up switchbacks instead of straight up. So quite often, we won't, use, we won't do work in the most efficient manner, but what we will be doing is lowering the force for ourselves. If, if you use the less force, you use greater distance. And the saying is, long is lazy, because more distance requires less force, and short is strong. More force requires less distance. But it's still work. And what you'll usually do is compare the efficiency. Efficiency is given by the Greek letter eta. And it's looks like an N. And it's equal to the work out because the output work is always less than the work in, and it's divided by the work you put in to get there. And if we're getting a percent, then we multiply it by a hundred percent. So we should do an example of that pretty soon. Did you get that part? Okay, we'll cut this, okay?